You are listening to Angie with the Evening Brew here on KDIV 98.7 FM. And I have Jackie here in the studio with me. And if you were are looking on our YouTube page, we are going to show the video that we were just talking about um, with the gentleman on the United flight. Um, and so if you are listening on the radio and not looking, make sure that you go onto our YouTube page, KDIV 98.7. So we're going to go ahead and play that video for you now. So the video was 40 seconds, but that felt like 45 minutes. It did. It did. <laughs> so, again, if you were listening and you have not had a chance to, make sure you check out our YouTube page, KDIV 98.7. So speaking of racial injustices, mm. let's talk Speak about this, on it. this Facebook ad um, that Nivea posted. And basically they had on there um, a lady, you know, representing their brand. And then in the at the bottom they have white is purity. So they've been facing a lot of backlash and basically saying that the 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 ad was racist and all that. So what do you think? I the funny thing about this one is that this was their Middle Eastern right ad. Yeah. yeah so yeah. you know, again, who are, who's at the table at these marketing meetings? Yeah. That's signing off on these ads like, oh yes, this is what we're going for. I right. mean, I do believe that they didn't mean they didn't mean any harm or any malice. But the thing is, you have to just think. I mean, if everybody at the table is agreeing and nobody said hey why don't we do something different then we're always going to have this issue always and i think that's why it's very important that you have um diverse representation um when you're when you have a seat at the table make sure that somebody is in that seat that's right. that doesn't look like everybody else right. i think it's very important um so speaking of that ads and folks not at the table let's talk about pepsi <laughs> So Do we have to? Let's just talk about it real quick. We ain't going to talk about it long. All right. So what are your thoughts about the whole ad and how that's been handled and what's going on with that? I feel like Pepsi, where they went wrong was the police. They did need the police factor. You could have had maybe two opposing sides and Kylie, not Kylie, Kendall, mm-hmm. bust to get somebody a Pepsi. Okay, let's all hug it out. Um, but as of today, the new tea on this is that some law enforcement are getting involved with a potential lawsuit because the officers, and I'm using quotation marks, mm-hmm. Um, they're not real police officers, and they appear to be wearing a city of San Francisco police badge, mm. well, police patch on the side of their uniform. So that's kind of the newest with that, with the Pepsi so thing today. The and everybody knows, I sound like Phaedra now, everybody knows that Pepsi ain't good for doing nothing but raising your blood glucose levels, okay? Right, I, I can't do it's it. It's nothing but sugar. Nope. All right, so MTV. So they announced last week that for their um, annual movie award show, that they're going to stop doing um, gender-specific categories. So now instead of saying the best actress in an action movie or the best actor in an act, act, um, action movie, they're just going to say the best actor. And that will be for women and men. So what do you think about that? I mean, I think it's okay, um, but that cuts your award show in half. So you need something else to beef up your award show. Mm-hmm. I don't know if Gary from Chicago from the Oscars <laughs> is available, but, I mean, he was a hit. So y'all need to book him now. But, I mean, I think it's all right. It'll just be interesting to see how it plays out. What I don't like about award shows is that a lot of times the host just does too much, and mm-hmm. then I get uninterested. So having, like, a lot of awards keeps the host from getting up there and getting out of control. Mm-hmm. So I'm just wondering how that's going to work. So I feel differently. I feel like sometimes you just need to leave well enough alone. And I feel like we've been having actresses and act awards. Let's just keep it that way. I feel like I don't want them to change. So I'm a, I'm a woman of tradition. So mm-hmm. I like things to be the way they've been. And I don't want all the... I, but let's just be real. I haven't watched the MTV Movie Awards since I was probably in high school two years ago. Fair. And so, you know... Yeah, <laughs> I feel like... Or why could you not have people... If someone identifies, like if I'm born a man, but I identify as a woman, that's my gender... How come you cannot just put me in actress. the actress because right. I identify as a woman? I, I feel like you could also do that, but I guess 
that was scratched. That's so. just doing too much. Okay. So, Jackie, it's been really an honor. It's been so, so fun. fun having thank you here. for having me. Had so much fun. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, so I want you to tell the people here where they can find you, where they can tune in, and all that good stuff before we go. You can find me on Instagram and Twitter, D Real Jacqueline House. Um, on Facebook, I have a Facebook page, NWA Gossip Girl. You can catch me Monday through Friday on Fox 24, Top Trender segment. Uh, the show starts at 7. All right. Well, thank you for being thank here. You. And again, you guys can find me. You know where to find me, Angie KDIV. And this is the Evening Brew on KDIV 98.7.